Hello everyone. Um, today is the last session. Yeah. <laughs> I hope to as soon as possible to end up this one. <laughs> My name is Woo Sung Kim. Uh, I work as a software architect and a task leader of advanced engineering at LG Electronics. Today, I will give a presentation on the SDB of the device side. Let's talk about the background of high-performance computing in the software-defined vehicle. The recent trend in the case has had lead to the emergence of SDBs. This is significant, the shifting placing software at the core of the entire vehicle life cycle by utilizing frequently software updates. This vehicle can become highly flexible uh, effective and then the adaptive. In terms of the vehicle in architecture, feature SCB aim to consolidate a large number of the uh, vehicle electronic controller units into a more robust architecture. However, one of the major challenges in the current vehicle in architecture is the allocation of the, the dedicated hardware resources. Let's dive into the trend in the e &E architecture and high performance computing with the multiple SOCs. The HPC systems integrated not only the underlying ECUs into a single hardware system, but also software functional domains such as IVI, ADA dots, telematics, and more using one or more SOCs. Communications between multiple associates within a single box require a memory bus latency. And currently, the PCI Express is being considered as one of the candidates for this. By consolidating the software functional domains in HPC, the strategic of the reusing or the sharing hardware resources, such as the sensor and camera simultaneously by two or more domains are strengthened. This approach helps in reducing the computing power required and the overall cost of uh, reduce the production. Uh, however, I analyze the requirement and the convey the customer value through the architecture drive. I will highlight three key features of quality attributes. Uh, reusability, uh, scalability, uh, upgradability. My approach is including the easy hardware extension via PCIe, where you can edit or extension hardware devices effortlessly, and input and output stream are managed in kernel spaces. So, that means no need to middleware the modifications and need to share sensor devices. One sensor can serve the multi-purpose across different domains. It has to memory-based accessibility between both ensure efficient communications. The customer value of the system, it is capable of the responding to various market segments we offer the scalable, the computation tailored for autonomous driving capabilities, enhancing both performance. By simplifying the vehicle data storage devices, it significantly reduces cost down. Ultimately, the platforms are about the scalability and cost effective make it powerful choice for the future of the automotive technology. The role of the PCI interconnections and uh, introduce the innovative concept of the ghost device. PCIe interconnected service as a high bandwidth connectivity backbone that reduces CPU processing cost by using the DMA. It enables CPUs to across the shared memory region 
allowing for effi uh, efficient data exchange. PCI interconnection also use interrupt and signaling to coordinate the data transfer and ensure the consistency. The ghost device is uh, the brand new concept that leverages the PCI between associates for resource sharing. The sharing devices and uh, introduce the concept for the, the ghost devices. Typically, we think about the bot IO for the virtualization sharing of the devices. On the other hand, the ghost device is designed for the sharing associate between the different SOCs. Unlikely, uh, bot IO, which is performs some functions in user spaces, but the ghost device aim to complete the lender in the kernel spaces. This means that middleware or services in user spaces do not need it to be modified, ensuring the seamlessly integration and operation. I'd like to sh share my idea on the reducing the complexity of the interface to achieve the hardware abstraction. The HPC system in the vehicle is composed of multiple compute nodes that formed a scalable cluster connected by high bandwidth data interface, such as the video stream, sensor interface, and high capacity data storage solutions. The data for the multiple vehicle sensors can either following the separate path or being aggregated through gigabit Ethernet and the PCI connection. This platform supported multiple applications running on a single hardware setup, including application for ADA DOS, IBA, telematics, and mass storage. The diverse the range of the high performance the computer and the data intensive task need to distribute input and output solutions. We achieve zero overhead and the high bandwidth device sharing through the PCIe. And the architecture integrated display port, Ethernet, storage, and input devices, which is reduced the hardware cost such as cable and physical interface between application processes. Let me explain the camera sensor sharing the mechanism between the associates. As depicted in the image below, a uh, sharing way has been implemented between associates for camera sensors. Associate number one is equipped with the three cameras and one radar sensor, while associate number two has uh, one camera. When the user requests the camera to the associate number two, the same camera frame are presented on the associate number two by PCIe. The major latency for the, this frame is approximately five milliseconds. Overall, this sharing mechanism allowing for seamless and the low latency sharing of camera sensors data between SOC. That means enhancing system performance and the user experience. This one is about the centralized storage in the multiple issue environment. For centralized storage, multiple SOC are connected via PCIe. Mass storage data need to be shared across the multiple use the cases and in such scenario, we use a shared namespace by PCIe virtual functions to reduce the processing the cost. Uh, that is about how we work. Uh, my approach to following the industrial standard and uh, implementing the ghost device. To adhere to the in industrial standard on RDMA infinite band, it is modified by NTB transport layer to share anti-RDMA. That is using 
the infinite band core and provider. The method to invoke the real string is depending on the SOC bender, as each the bender implemented or handles the device driver and its services in their own unique way. Of all, by modifying the NTB transport layer and the leveraging infinite band, we have successfully implemented the ghost devices, ensuring com compatibility with the various associated vendors. Oh. The future of the vehicle in architecture and the innovative solutions we are eager to implement. The conclusion of the software, the functional domain using the HPC and the future vehicle in architecture has been potentially to transforming the vehicle into the platform for the unprecedented innovation. But it also introduced complexity such as a sensor and hardware resources sharing. To tackle these uh, challenges, my teams are committed to developing vehicle architecture that en enable efficient resource sharing and sensors and camera. The other the peripheral can be possible to the among the functional domains. LGE pioneering the ghost devices are groundbreaking the resource sharing concept that is but enhance the flexibility and the simplicity of future vehicle e &E architecture. By pro providing comp complete the abstraction of the physical paper and the devices, reducing cost through minimizing hardware resource duplication. And uh, significantly, um, enhancing the customer experience, we are the poses to lead the way of the automotive technology. My, com my colleague and I excited about the possibility and are the dedicated to make the, these features a reality. Uh, thank you for attending. Uh, do you have any questions? Yes, please. Mike. <coughs> Can you see the active diagram between two SOC? Oh, wait a second. Is one more because uh, recording by the mic. Can you show the previous architecture? Ah, uh, yeah. This one. Uh, sorry, the two SOC concept. Oh, yeah, this, ah, this one. one. Uh, you described the four devices, uh, including DP, Ethernet kind of things. Yes. So the. Is it, is, is, is it mean the you allocate the PCI Express uh, separated RAIN for each device, or uh, just uh, uh, conceptually uh, that kind of device can be communicated through the PCI Express with uh, multiple lanes? Yeah, I agree. Which yeah. one? Yeah, understand what you meant. Um, that is, but depending on the SOCs. We are several associates using the Intel, Samsung, mm -hmm. Renstas, and uh, Qualcomm, and also. That is, there are um, limitations about the PCI lane. Mm -hmm. So we are the, your requirement at that time um, duplicated or aggregated and separated. You know, the PCI is a very um, good technology about the increasing bandwidth very easily, yeah, yeah. just giving to the lane. Mm -hmm. So we are, that is the concept for the, our PCIe technology. Everything are into a single the PCIe um, cable, but you, there are too many of the cases. It depend on the requirement. Mm. And one more comment is the, I think the people's thinking is similar. The, uh, when I work in my previous company, uh, it, it, in that company also implemented the same same concept uh, through the PCI Express, the uh, sharing the yes. uh, ISP camera and GPU and PU kind of devices sure. between two SOC. At that time, the problem was the uh, like the um, streaming data. Uh, 
such as uh, camera and image providing mm -hmm. is the um, PCI Express is very suitable uh, for the, because the DMA approach is very good. Yes. But uh, uh, like the yesterday demo from the Panasonic, like the GPU workload is a very small piece of the package uh, to, to communicate. Yes. So the just a simple DMA uh, is not good for the PCI Express communication. And also some kind of uh, when the PCI Express rain is not enough, the some kind of uh, this is the sharing bus. Mm -hmm. So the uh, priority and uh, bandwidth allocation for each device is, was a very uh, uh, challengeable problem needed to be solved. Sure. Yeah. And uh, so at that time, the, we researched so many times, so the, many experiments to, to reach the uh, interface limit of speed. Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. I think so. You are expertise in the PCIe. Uh, no, the, <laughs> I need your advice. Yeah, I'm. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm. I manage a whole BSP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for the the question and answer yeah. by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, right. So the reason we are studying the camera, that's why we are camera at first. Camera is about the use case uh, very easy to access it. You know, it's about stream data. It's about just about pipe here, pipe, and open here, close down after the power up. In that case, the camera is very good, and also different way a divide display. Display is a the other way, vice versa. Is going on sources on that there and some there. The display and the camera are very good use case, and also the. Uh, message storage, you know, is about black box in vehicle. They are the stream is about very estimated the big data. But as you said, uh, small data such as the interrupt very frequently, such as the can data and the summit the interrupt data is not appropriate. So we have internally investigated separate the characteristic. One things are more the frequently. The other things are mass storage and uh, stream data. It's the appropriate, the separate lane. And the other things, the PCIe, uh, they are going to the generation is going up and up, double up. That means you are the HPC is a stackable. Many of the P, uh, computing power is a stackable. They will really close it, like a PC. Computer, the personal computer is about adding to the some card. The same manner, we are the the first is the GPU and graphics very appropriate the PCIe, but it's about the mouse and USB and some not good good. So we are different way. One thing are gigabit Ethernet, one thing are PCIe, one things are the um, both both connection. That is but different. Is something is good, something is bad one. So, um, my company is about the making the the trend and the roadmap for the what is about more the quick on that. First things are camera, second things are display and <coughs> internet, and the audio and audio with more the low priority. We are keep going on and stay tuned to me. Thank you. Uh, so please go back to uh, page uh, RDMA part, maybe yeah. six or five. This one? Uh, sorry, next page, please. Next. Uh, so this one. So my this understanding is uh, RDMA DMA is uh, depend on uh, SOC hardware. Is yes. correct? Yes. Mm. Yes, right. But we are the porting about the RDMA. Because RDMA is open source. So infinite band. We are the porting from the Intel, sorry, sorry the Intel guys. <laughs> X86 going to the ARM. We're porting on that. You know, in, in RDMA is already matured in the server, server, or what I'm saying, server business. But we are coming from to the bigger side. 
So my understanding is uh, Intel architecture support RDMA is a hardware site. So in this case, uh, uh, hardware automatically to uh, direct memory access to uh, hardware uh, a physical uh, memory to memory. Yes. But uh, in ARM architecture, maybe my understanding in automotive world, uh, uh, maybe some is uh, maybe. Uh, some uh, SOC vendor not support RDM yeah, side. Sure. So in this case, uh, uh, if uh, in this case RDM support, uh, maybe uh, one or, one or some CPU uh, pulling to uh, uh, interrupt and CPU uh, copy to memory to memory. So yes. in this case, uh, but uh, this is a uh, depend uh, happen to performance issue. Yes. So do you know? How uh, what is a perform overhead and performance? Um, there are the several questions, so mm. I'll step by step. <laughs> okay. The RDMA, right, you're right, is about depending on the SOC, mm. but it can be pulling. That is our, the, the how to weigh the driver, make it and the, the drive porting, mm. and the invoke the Infinity Core from the anti-RDMA the passes transport layer we are modified in LG, not from the SOC vendor. Ah, okay, yeah. so how about the uh, root compress side? Maybe. Yes, that is about your your question, right? Is a uh, RDMA is uh, just about software. They don't care about it. But EP and RC is very high tightly the SOC's vendor solutions. Mm. For example, it's about Samsung associates, at that case, they are supporting EP. Mm. The SAS is also, but mm. Qualcomm did not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Intel <laughs> did not. So, that is about the EP is a very, very important thing. So, yeah, yeah. so, we are alternative way as PCI switch. You know oh. PCI switch? Yes, yes, you got it, yes? As for PCI switch, it can be the uh, even though RC, yeah, yeah. EP and EP and RC. So, depending on your re uh, requirement, yeah. then we can the both way already proven. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm very clear. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Currently, we are starting to the Gen 3. Uh, going up to the, in this year, we are finishing the Gen 4, ah, PCI Gen 4. That means uh, one lane is eight gigabyte, a bit, so in one gigabyte will be the uh, share. There are no protocol. You know, it's a one giga ethernet, really expensive, and need to the CPU core. Decoding and encoding and capturing, decapsulation, many things. But PCI is not. Plain text, plain memory, plain binary. Do you have any other question? We have uh, a little bit time, so I have uh, showing to the our demonstration in the last CES show. Yeah, it's about uh, by myself, so a little bit uh, shaking. You know, um, this SOC number one and number two is uh, allocated three the camera and uh, dragging in there. Uh, three camera is uh, the captured is behind the, the uh, big screen, the camera. And one camera is uh, dedicated to one SOC, the different one. But dragging in, you can easily expand it. 
and removing in other way is about that is about the the PCI expresses uh, Gen 3 is two ray we are uh, using on that at that time the five, minute, five milliseconds delay that means a one frame latency and this code is very easily and that one uh, we are, this is about NVMe mass storage into the HPC. The recording uh, SOC number one is a recording the shared namespace. And the other way is about stream out the issue, another issue, and the IP, uh, SOC number two, it can be read it. That means Oh, sorry. That means our one storage, every SOC, it can be on the fly, reading and writing on top of the PCI. And one of the example, this one is about normal, normally we are just a three camera for the, the AD, uh, yeah, second, yeah, AD is a front camera, is a side and left and right side and LiDAR on that. One camera can be using the IVI system that different applications. Just uh, using a uh, camera, the sourcing. So <coughs> same the display, but uh, it's not showing on that. It's not clearly, but it's AR application can be show, can be using on the IVI system. ADAS still going on the ADAS system. That means one source multi-use in the, the single box. Okay. Um, you can see um, really not showing on the clear. But you know, it's about first the graph is GP CPU. Um, this red one is a P PCIe. Everything are the coming through the between then, but the below 10% the CPU resources. There are no decoding and encoding, and uh, just about the no capsulation and decapsulation, everyone, everything one. That is our the first things. The next things we will making to the ghost devices of the display. Ah, sorry about that. So we are focusing on that point. performance computing point of view. Do you have any other questions? No? Okay. Last day. <laughs> Why, Jerry? <laughs> please. <laughs> Hi. Uh, just want to, uh, could you please go back to the, there's a architecture uh, there. Comparison? You no. need the bot IO? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I want to understand the, uh, I think uh, it's not this page, there's a uh, architecture diagram. Oh, okay, okay. Background? Uh, uh. <coughs> yeah, this Oh, uh, okay. Uh, just want to <coughs> confirm, so the here, so the PCIe switch you are talking about, because you using this uh, PCIe switch, so you are uh, trying to uh, avoid the, the, the fragmentation of whether EP is uh, supported or not, right? Uh, that is about, yeah, that is about so your agenda, <laughs> about <laughs> standardization. So 
for the PCI switch device driver, so I'm a little bit uh, because I'm not familiar with this. So is it uh, something standardized? Yes, right. You know, PCI is about really mature in server and your PC also. Mm -hmm. Everybody using on the Wi-Fi, they base on the PC. Everybody using on the USB C type, they base on the PCI. Mm -hmm. Everything are aggregated PCI, but different protocol using on that. USB, Ethernet, other way. Moreover, the more inside it, PCI already the standardized. Mm -hmm. well, will there be any job? So it's a very picky uh, question because uh, in most of cases, you know, if a SOC vendor, for example, they implement in some way, then we try to use another way. There may be some drawback or say some, some hidden components or hidden performance that we cannot achieve with the standardized solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason I'm the following the standardized RDMA. Uh -huh. You are the expert in the bot, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see we are memory and the PCI, you are mm -hmm. right. Everything are DMA, the different vendor of the specific IP. Mm -hmm. But we are focusing on the corner spaces. That means we are making the RDMA porting on that. No more user spaces change it. What are your, your spaces standardization? I really respect you. But we are more the deep dive in corner spaces. Mm -hmm. Corner spaces, you know, is about the any of the there are very small people are using on the like a PSP guys. <laughs> so we are more a standardization following on that, and then reduce it. Uh, many of the decoupling the some the tickle of the what I'm saying. Uh, we are the optimizing performance and uh, reducing the, the CPU root and uh, following the standardization, both of them. So three things are different way of the Batayu, but we are the finally, uh, HPC, we are multi SOC, mm -hmm. we come together. And the based on the PCIe, everything. So like, uh, you know, it's about the server side um, rack, like, uh, one, two, three, and change it very easily. Our final target on that. We call that is a braid model. Just comment the uh, with this diagram. The uh, my previous company was Samsung. The we made the Exynos Auto yeah. SOC. Uh, <laughs> Sorry so, about uh, so the. <laughs> Uh, we supporting the IC and EP, and yes. uh, I, I, as I said, the people thinking the same. The, we implemented the Botaio first uh, because the standard sure. is important. Sure. But uh, as I said, there are two kinds of stream. One is latency oriented stream. Mm -hmm. Second one is the bad throughput oriented stream, mm -hmm. the, uh, like the camera. The, we <laughs> failed to get the latency for the Botaio implementation. Uh, well, in uh, in the experiment, so the finally we decided to drop the battery for the uh, device sharing with through the PCI Express. So the light light side approach uh, is the same. The implemented, but not the standard RDMA, the proprietary implementation yes. for the uh, to support to two kinds of stream for the latency and throughput maximize. So the we reached the same result, the only kernel side implementation, but the uh, uh, Botaio is uh, it's hard to achieve to because the trap between the user space and kernel space is yeah. hmm. for the latency. Yes, yes. So the reason the many associates their own proprietary PCI Express solution, such as the, your own the ICEP communication. Yeah. But the Qualcomm is uh, ICP elite communication. But we are following the industrial standard. Because why? We are changing to the solution SOC by requirement. Uh, I, I think actually regarding the, the problems I uh, just mentioned, there is, uh, was uh, some 
advanced research by I think is from TikTok or someone that they are trying to combine in the PCIe and uh, Vertel in order to uh, accelerate the the virtualization. Yeah. Uh, Zero so copy mechanism, yeah, right? There may be in the future, so there's some possibility that not this we, uh, versus version, but maybe a combined version yeah. of to, to, to gather a, a better uh, solutions. Yes. I and another thing is because uh, I think the one of the reasons that Wordle is not going to a fully kernel based is is there is uh, some compromise or say still giving room for, for example, SOC vendor or device vendor to implement their uh, their 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 advantages or the competitive advantage uh, uh, software solutions in the back end, mm -hmm. for example. So uh, there may be, because you know, Wordle is a very long history things. Sure. So it's uh, uh, definitely, there, there has some uh, full uh, kernel based, uh, even with the vhost, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, some cases, uh, for example, the, the, the one you are going to, to, to handle with uh, in the next for GPUs, there are a mm -hmm. lot of, uh, uh, existing user space uh, yes, so. uh, vendor libraries, so how to handle with them, yes. that will be a, a challenging uh, for all this kind of standardization problems. But I, I think it's a very good attempt and uh, it's very interesting. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we are the already uh, study many times in the Botayo because uh, hypervisor and uh, reduces the decoupling. But we are, why we are going to the PCI? Because more longer ages <laughs> by x86 architecture. Thank you for that. And any of the other questions and comments, please. <coughs> Thank you very much.